Hi, so I got this SQL query from one of my subscribers, and they own a medium-sized business that are trying to get data analysts and screen them out using a SQL query test. So they claim that when they put this out, they were getting applicants that weren't producing the query that they wanted. They wanted to be able to get a query that showed off the analyst skill level and knowledge. So I could solve this in multiple ways. So I posted it on Reddit to see how people would actually solve this. And I have a few ways to do it too. Now, granted, I don't think they formulated the question very well, but you can see this is the existing table that they, they have and they want to be able to produce this table. So if I zoom out a little bit here, you can see that here is the table and they have an ID, a name, a subject name, and marks. And they have the result, which is the subject name, the ID, the marks, the max marks, and the participants. So there might be a couple ways to solve this, as you can imagine. So I wanted to jump over to Microsoft SQL Server Studio and kind of show you how to uh, solve this in a couple ways. And then I was able to reach out to my friend and they were able to tell me what they were actually looking for. So let's show you how this can be done. So let's take a look at the existing table, which we are supposed to create that other uh, table with. So what we have is our ID. We have the name, which all of the student names, we have the subject names, and then we have the marks. So we obviously know there needs to be some aggregation to create the max marks and participant. So I did this in three different ways. And the final way was actually the way the company wanted to have this query, but all of these are correct. So there's no way for them to say that the participants weren't getting the interview correctly. They just wanted a specific uh, answer. And I think the way for them to get that specific answer was n tell the participants not to use a join. And I'll show you how to do this without joining. So, we have a very long query here, and I'm going to just be able to show you this by kind of moving out. And what I did is I said, let's build this with an inner join. So we have a table here that we have run in a subquery. And this we're selecting the subject name, the max marks as max marks, and we're counting the number of names. So you can either count the names or the IDs because those are all unique. So it doesn't really matter. Um, and then we're pulling that from that student table here. And we're grouping by subject name because we need to match the result from this query to the subject name in the original table. So we named that original table A, if you see from the top query here, the outer query. And we just inner joined here on subject name from the inner query, which I aliased as B, and the original table, which I aliased as A. So we select A from the subject name because we don't want that aggregated. We take A for ID, A for marks, and then B was the aggregated table. So let me run the inner query so you can see the results. So I'm going to run that and let me pull this up for you. And you can see what we get is those three rows, which we get the max marks for chemistry and the max marks for English and the participants for each one of these. And then we're going to join that back to that student table. So let's run the whole thing, which is this whole query here, and we execute it. And then we take a look at the results. And you can see what we have here is exactly what they said the resulting table should look like. We have um, selected the subject name, which is part of the original table. The ID is the original table. The marks are the original table. And this is from my inner query, which were aggregations.
and we get max marks, which you're going to see here is duplicated, which what they were looking for, because it's duplicated, represented by each one of these subject names, and the participants by those subject names. So that inner join allowed us to get the answer they wanted. Let's look at another way. So another way to do this would be to use a CTE. So let me just pull this down a little bit. So for a CTE, we're doing essentially the same thing. So we have that inner query here, which is just a group by, and we have those two aggregation functions, which are count and max, to get the participants in the max marks column. And then we create use the CTE with, and we call the GAGG for no reason. I just thought that was an interesting name. And we, we are creating that query, and then we're selecting from it. So you can see we're selecting from the original table, subject name, ID, and marks. And then from that CTE, we're getting the max marks and participants, and we're doing the same thing. We're interjoining to that CTE table on subject name from the original table and subject name from our CTE. So if I just highlight this and run it, Execute, and you'll see from that we get the same answer. So I can show you one final way where you don't have to use a join, which I think what they were originally trying to go for. But they needed to specify that when they were asking. So let's do that. So I'm going to make a little space here. So you can see we can use Windows functions. So you can select the subject name the ID, and the marks. And that's all from one table. But then we can create an additional column by using the max marks over, and then we partition it by the subject name, which allows us to get the information subset it by that subject name. And we call that max marks. We count the number of IDs or names. It doesn't matter. They're all unique. And we we will partition that by subject name and name that participants. And then from the single table here, we have this very clean and you kind of very easy query. And if we run that, we get the same results. So you can see by all three methods, we can get the similar results. There, be, there probably is some debate which one is more efficient or more readable, but you can definitely tell me what method you would have used to answer this question. And if the interviewer wanted a specific answer, they should ask for you to create a table with some more information. For example, if they wanted a CTE, they could say, I create this without joining tables. So please leave any comments, like and subscribe, or tell me what you thought about the video. Thank you.